What's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Now from Milan, Italy. And right here is a very special car. This is the 2021 Honda Civic Type R Limited Edition. And I'm gonna go into all the special things about this car in just a second, but I'm gonna leave you hanging for a minute because first I wanna walk over here and just talk to you about what's new for 2020. So that over there is a 2021 model year, but there are some changes for 2020 that we're gonna get to first because all of those are coming over to the limited edition Type R. Yes, I'm going to make you wait. So it says GT on here. That's what they call the standard Type R that we get here in Europe. So ignore the GT, that's what it's called overseas, but this is just your standard Civic Type R in America. So Tommy and Roman had a chance to check this car out over in Chicago just a few weeks ago and they went over some of the changes. I'll recap those for you really quick. So the first one here is this Boost Blue color, which is really, really cool looking. That is new for 2020 and I love this color. It's super vibrant, really nice looking. They also talked about in that video from Chicago, some of the suspension changes. So there are changes to the active damper system. It now reads the road about 10 times faster than what the outgoing 2019 model was able to do. Uh, and that's going to make for better track performance while also on road performance. And you're not gonna compromise anything on the track with that new setup. Now there's also a bunch of safety tech that comes into this new 2020 model. So you're gonna get all the Honda sensing tech. That's gonna be collision mitigation, road departure mitigation, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control. And that's pretty much all they went through in that video because in Chicago, this car was locked and the windows were very dark. But now we're here right in front of it. We're able to see what all the interior changes are so let's hop in and I'll walk you through those really quickly. First thing you'll notice really fast is the steering wheel. This is now an Alcantara steering wheel and it feels really nice. I really love Alcantara. The steering wheel is what you touch every minute you're inside this car driving it. So an improved feel there is awesome. The next thing you'll notice is the new shift knobs. So before it was kind of a ball, now it goes to kind of this teardrop shape and it's actually 90 grams heavier than the 2019. So I already thought that the 2019 had a really good feel. It was super responsive and clicky. I got to drive this car when we had it in Boulder, but now you have a little bit more weight in there and it does feel very, very nice. So another big change is the built-in data logger. They're calling it Log R. And unfortunately, I can't start this up right now, but I'll show you some images of it in a future video. This is just kind of a news video. We'll have a more produced, put together video showing you every single detail coming very soon. So stay tuned to TFL Now and TFL Car for that. But basically, it has three different modes in this data logger. It has a performance monitor that's going to show you all of the vehicle information on the screen right here. That would be water temp, oil temp, oil pressure, a gear indicator, G meter, pretty much everything you need to know while you're going around the track, you're gonna be able to access right here. But there's also a new app available for Android and iPhone. It will be coming later this spring, which you can download. And there's a couple more features in that. So you have a log mode, which records all of your lap times. It uses GPS, so you can set a start and end point and basically keep up with your scores. So you can uh, monitor how quick you're going around the track and it will keep track of all of that for you. You don't need to do it separately or use some kind of third party app. It's built right into the car, super cool. And it also has an auto score feature. So it will monitor your braking, acceleration, and steering, and it will generate a smoothness score for you. And we'll kind of put these green, yellow, or red lines down on the screen to show you how you're doing. You can disconnect your phone from the car when you're done on the track. And then basically you can see exactly how you progressed and make for a smoother ride. Smoother driving is gonna improve your lap time. So 
That is really, really cool. And these algorithms were developed with uh, professional Honda racers. So they put a lot of energy into making sure this was a good system. It works with the computer in the car. So it's gonna be way more accurate and advanced than any kind of third party data logger you're gonna be able to put in this car. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior features. They of course updated the front grille a little bit to give better cooling to the radiator. Which you can see right there. And that actually decreased the amount of downforce on the front end. So to kind of counteract that, they redid this front spoiler. Made it a little bit wider. Takes up more area, that's gonna help create more downforce. I really, really love this Voodoo Blue color. Sorry, not Voodoo Blue, sorry, Boost Blue. Still, of course, have your red Honda badge, classic Type R styling on the back there. And yeah, those are all the updates for the 2020 model year. And these are arriving very soon at dealerships February 28th. So coming real soon to a dealership near you. Near you. And as far as cost goes, $37,950, including destination. So there's a little recap of the changes for 2020. We'll head back over in here, take you to what you really want to see, which is the limited edition. So limited edition, yep, first thing you'll notice is this bright yellow color, phoenix yellow. All of the limited editions will be in this phoenix yellow color. There's only 600 of these coming to the US. So pretty limited car. So what makes it a limited edition? Well, the first thing, it's all about weight reduction. So if we look down here at the wheels, you can see they went with a BBS forged wheel and that uh, helps reduce the weight by about 18 pounds going to these wheels. They also did some more things for weight reduction, so removed some of the sound deadening on the interior. You can see there's no rear wiper on this limited edition. And uh, a rear heat duct delete, so all of that helps reduce the weight by a, an additional 28 pounds. There's also specially tuned steering dampers for the track. So it's definitely going to handle better than the Type R. Not that the Type R, the standard one, isn't just a total track weapon. We'll hop inside here. All of the limited edition Type R's will have this serial plate right here, as do the regular Type R's. They will all be numbered, so this is Euro 000. You can tell it's the Euro spec version because there is no infotainment screen right here. Us Americans, we like infotainment, so ignore this. The version that's coming to the US will have a screen here, but like I said, I'm in Italy right now, so this is the European spec version of this car. Of course, you can see the Alcantara steering wheel, same shift knob I just talked about. And there's also a lot of additional styling updates on the front. So we have a bunch of gloss black elements and I'm really a fan of those. So you get a gloss black roof, mirror caps, as well as this hood scoop up front is gloss black. And then if we go around to the back end, you can see we have dark chrome Type R and Civic badges, but not <laughs> over the red H. You still want that red H with your Type R. So you have that right there. Like I said, 600 units, pricing is not yet announced, but we'll have that information for you at TFL Car as soon as it's available. And of course, this is gonna get all of the 2020 updates I just talked about. So the data logger, improved cooling up front, 
improved airflow for the brakes up front, and that's both on this limited edition and the standard Type R. I really, really love this color, and especially with the black accents, it's really just great to look at. And it is a limited production car, so not sure if we're gonna get our hands on one and have Paul take it for a drive around the track, but that would be really, really sweet if, the, if we get the opportunity to do it. So there it is, guys, the limited edition Honda Civic Type R coming in 2020 for the 2021 model year. So like I said, there's gonna be a more full, in-depth video with every single detail. This is kind of just a news piece to break everything down for you. But stay tuned to TFL Car and TFL Now for more updates on this. And in a few days, that video that's gonna be much more detailed and really tell you everything you need to know. For the Fastlane Car, this is Alex. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go back to tflcar.com for more news views and limited edition Type R reviews.